Hey everybody, my name is Oliver and you're watching one of my videos about H5P and today I'd like to show you this. This is what I've been working on for the last couple of days and it's going to become a content type for H5P and I called it H5P Essay um, because it's intended to be something like that. Um, you give students a task and they have to become productive and write text. So for example, right here, um, my task is to summarize The Hobbit. So let's see if I can do it quickly. So pretty short, but let's see what happens if I click on check. Okay, it says I got three points out of five. And well, how does a comp type do that? Right now, it's still pretty dumb. Uh, just checks for some keywords that you have defined before and then it counts them and then it returns the number. Um, yeah, but let's see what you can configure yourself actually. So I'll just jump uh, to the edit screen. Okay, so this is what the content type looks like. Um, of course, you can change the task description and the placeholder text. And you can also limit the number of characters that the students may use if you'd like to. But the more important stuff is down here. So you can add keywords like Bilbo or Gandalf. And uh, you could also add phrases if you like to. Maybe, um, I don't know, Lord of the Rings maybe could fit here. And the content type will look for that. And then you have situations like this. There are different spellings of dwarfs. I, I looked at that, both are correct. Um, and both should um, lead to a point. And similar thing down here, you can have journey and quest and maybe you can also add adventure. And there are similar things and um, if you want to look for that, yeah, you can add alternatives. Okay, um, it can become a little tricky, of course. Maybe you also want to look for, for a journey at the beginning of a sentence and you'll have a capital J. So um, there's an option to activate or deactivate case sensitivity. So this helps a little bit. And I'm also going to add another option so you can do something like a fuzzy search. Uh, that's what we computer scientists call it. So um, maybe plural would also be correct, like journeys or quests. And maybe there are also other variations of a word that you'd like to include, but you don't want to type them in your all yourself. So um, that's why I'm going to include that option. I, well, we'll have to see how good it works in, in practice. Well, what else do we have down here? Um, that's just the localization stuff. So you could change the um, label for the, sub, uh, the check button. It could be submit, for example. And well, you can, can um, change that as well. And I, well, that's about it. I have lots of ideas what I could do. Um, yeah, but I'd like to hear yours. So if you have ideas what you could use this content type for, or maybe what option you'd like to see, um, yeah, just use the comment section below, leave a comment and yeah, tell me your ideas. That's it for today. Um, enjoy H5P. Take care. Bye bye.